Okay, I'm going to show you uh, how to install and using OpenGem 5. First, you gotta put your FreeDOS. Mine is version 1.1. I'm gonna press enter here and select second option. It'll, it will allow you to use more memory. And uh, it's booting up. Now let's see what's in hard disk. I copied everything inside the C drive and it looks a little bit messy, but it'll work for sure. Okay, now I type in something called install.pat. I think this will do the job. Install OpenGem to drive C, select one, accept and install OpenGem. And OpenGem is now installed on drive C. It's a megabyte big GUI system, so uh, it'll install very quickly. Now, see what's in there. So, uh, to start OpenGem 5, just type in GM and bet. Okay, now here it comes. This GUI system is, seems like, made by uh, one person. It's rather surprising. So uh, it gives you an idea of how graphic user interface can be made in such a small amount of code. Maybe not small, but I'm going to run a couple of programs, but not all of them. This is program called Paint. So if you want to be, you can actually can be productive by drawing some stuff. You can actually uh, select colors too. Well, uh, hit enough of it. Okay, I'm going to abandon it. And here is something called Publisher. And you can, I can actually uh, make a document about it. See? So you can, you know, spend some time with this publisher and you may get it to work, but I'm not gonna do this thing right now. And here's a whole bunch of other stuff called draw and art lines in basic two and a bunch of games you might want to play. And that's pretty much it. Oh, it even have word chart if you wanted to use it, and here's the writing app. Oh, see? So you can modify your text file maybe, if you wanted to. And even you can insert the graphics. I'm not gonna save it. Okay. Well, uh, this GUI system is more like somebody uh, made it for some kind of experimental use. There are even source code available on the internet. If you look it up, then you might get a glimpse of how graphic user interface system really works from you know, the bottom scratch. Anyway, that's it for today. If you would like to try, then you can always Google it and you can download it and you can try it yourself.